These are some Denar Guru updates. Starting off with Mark ZV and PDK, we're getting more chatter from the Redemption Center folks. They were told to fully expect to work this weekend. We are still hearing fantastic chatter from Reno. They have big expectations, but they are not given a time. They are being told that we are close and they need to stay in place. Most of them are very happy. To me, that means something is going on to keep them uh, very content. Question, so is this our week uh, answer? There is a great cha chance based on the banking side. Of course, my DC Beltway contacts are saying it will be somewhere between December 12th and 15th. My bank folks, though, are convinced we will all be going before that. Mountain Goat says we have seen an enormous amount of recent coordination with the other central banks first throughout the Middle East and now throughout the other leading developed nations of the world. This is all very amazing. I believe we can expect to see the IQD move to the global trading platforms very soon. We can clearly see the path to early January 22 timeframe is in the spotlight. There's just so much pointing to this period. You can see the speeded up effort to put in place the final steps to process to go international. I am talking about finally bringing back the dinar to its glory days and reinstating it. Caperoni question, uh, when can I look to see first Forex? Answer is there's no RV. This is not a lottery ticket. If and when the dinar ever goes up in value, it will go up gradually over time as the economy grows. A country's currency is not a lottery ticket. It's not managed by fools or its value is not random. There is no RV, only with the success of Iraq's economy can the NAR go up in value. Mark Z via PDK, question, been waiting for eight years, afraid this is a scam. The answer is this is not a scam, referring specifically to the Iraqi NAR. Remember, Warren Buffett bought it and said, quote, this is going to be a great long-term investment, unquote. When Trump was pre president, he said at one time that he had 41 uh, trillion Iraqi dinar in the U.S. Treasury, or about 35 billion U.S. dollars worth of dinar in the U.S. Treasury. If it was a scam, they would not be holding it. Also, Trump had years ago invested about 34 million of his own money into the Iraqi dinar. All right, and lastly from Frank26, Iraq Boots on the Ground Fire uh, TV update. They said now is for Iraq to be on stage of international acceptance of their country's currency and saying it will be a leader, not only the Arab region, but global. They're saying the banking sector is the key for the international acceptance, and Iraq has been working hard on this behind the scenes. Tonight's part, we'll talk on can the dinar exchange uh, rate return to its previous value. Uh, Frank says this is the final countdown. The next video they're going to give you is on the pros and cons. I will probably show you the new small category notes as they talk to you why they have to change the exchange rate.